So in this video I'm basically going to be talking about two very similar hatchets. They're both made in Sweden, the company is literally just opposite the road from each other. They both use very similar traditional methods to make the axes. This one here, retailing at £50, is the Grand Swiss Brux Wildlife Hatchet. And this one here, retailing at £23, is the Wettling's Small Hunter's Axe. So basically the point of this video is I'm going to take a look at both the axes, how they perform, and basically decide whether this axe is really worth the extra money over the Wettling's. Okay, so there are obvious differences between the two axes straight away. So one of the first things I notice about these two axes is that the Wettling's has a much longer helve. This may be an advantage when using it to chop stuff. Um, for example, you could probably hold this two-handed, although it wouldn't be as good as a full-size axe. Another thing about the Wettling's is it has a much heavier, broader head than the Gransfers. As you can see with the edge geometry, the Gransfers is much thinner, whereas the Wettling's is much broader. This may lend the Wettling's more to splitting rather than cutting. The Gransfers is definitely a cutting tool and the Wettling's would be more of a splitting axe. Aside from edge geometry, the two axes also have slightly different grain orientations. On the Wettling's the grain goes slightly diagonal whereas on the Gransfers it goes completely vertical to the tip. Um, this is better because it basically makes the axe's helve a lot stronger. There's no bits to chip out of it if you should strike the helve instead of the head. Of course, minor observations are not going to be enough to find out which axe is superior. I'm going to run through a few series of tests to decide which one is the superior tool. Okay, so first up, I'm going to test out the Wettlings and just see how well it bites on this piece of dead hazel. Now I'm just going to try it out with carving a simple tent peg just to see how comfortable it is and how effective it is at the job. Okay, so I'm just going to try the wettlings out on this piece of dead hazel, just see how well it does for felling branches of trees. That's not too bad actually, went through there pretty easily, quite a good job. So now I've got the Grand Swiss Brox Wildlife Hatchet, I'm going to put it through the same test as the wettlings and see how it compares. Okay, so same test again, similar thickness of hazel with the Grand Swiss Brox Wildlife Hatchet. Okay, so is the Grand Swiss Brox really worth the extra money of the Wettlings? Well, build quality, definitely yes. The build quality of the Gransfers is pretty much near on perfect. The grain structure is perfect, the head is perfectly forged, it's very lightweight, packable, um, ideal for a bushcraft hatchet in my opinion. However, 
the Wetlings is a slightly larger and heavier axe and due to the thickness of the head it means it's a lot more effective for splitting wood. If I was choosing an axe that would primarily be splitting wood all day I would definitely go for the Wetlings hatchet. However if I was going for a woodcraft tool to help me build certain things around the camp, um, cut down trees, just general tasks like carving, food preparation, just a, an everyday tool, I would definitely go for the Grandson's Brooks Wildlife Hatchet.